you can have another tool. You have to have another strategy. You need to be more diverse in your coaching ability. And that's something I pride myself on is always working on my skill sets as a coach. So to answer your question, I always start with what's this feedback for? Then as a coach, I obviously have my awareness that I'm looking for. So if people are using certain things, like when people say I have to, I should, I've got to, I must or something like that, they're putting someone else's values ahead of them. Mm-hmm. So I had literally, um, I had someone commenting on my post the other day. Um, it was just something like, um, but that's what I should do. And I just responded, according to who? When did you decide that? Whose belief are you adopting right now? So that for me is feedback that he's taken or she's taken on someone else's values or beliefs or expectations. Um, so it just depends, I guess, specifically on the situation. Uh, for the people listening, just ask yourself, what's this feedback for? The most common ones that will probably show up without knowing the situation you're probably not clear on your values and you're putting other people's values ahead of your own. So you're feeling that you're experiencing the feedback of low self-worth, self-sabotage, self-doubt because you're trying to be someone that you're not. So that's generally, that's why I start with values first. Probably living in beliefs would be an, another common one. So you just, you're, we've already, we had a 10 minute conversation about living in beliefs or self-image. You act in accordance with how you see yourself. So if you see yourself as someone who's not worthy of love, who's not good in relationships, who's not good with money, who isn't successful, who's just a lazy person, you're going to stay in cons- uh, alignment with that and consistent with that. So I'd be looking at rewiring beliefs that don't necessarily serve you. And I'd say another one would probably be just, I guess, unhealed stuff where you get triggered because you attract people and circumstances to reveal the wounds you haven't healed through. So you're going to continuously attract people and situations and circumstances that shine light or reveal the parts of you you haven't integrated, you haven't healed through, you haven't worked on yet. So that they're probably three of the more common ones. But again, there's more than just that. Like maybe you don't have a fucking plan. Maybe you just don't have clarity on what the fuck do I do? Like I don't. I feel really lost and confused and overwhelmed. Okay, well, what's your what's your what's your plan to attack? What's your what's your purpose? What's your mission? What's your annual goals? What's your quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily? What are you doing today to move forward? Because people, if you try to eat the whale at once, it's fucking overwhelming. Like, what do you do? So it might be strategic. And that's where that's the 20%. So for me, that's the easier stuff because it's more like black and white strategic. The mental stuff generally is what holds most people back. Uh, Like Tony Robbins uses this. There's four S's to a breakthrough. So uh, sorry, there's three S's to a breakthrough. There's the story you tell yourself. So so I'll start again. I'll start in reverse order of importance. First one is the strategy. Let's use health and fitness. And I just use that because most people can understand it and relate to it at some point. So people start with strategy. They think it's the strategy that they need. They need the perfect personal trainer, the perfect meal plan, the perfect gym. They need the perfect regimen. They need blah, 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 blah. So the strategy is what's stopping them. Sometimes it is the strategy. If you're trying to run east looking for a sunset, you're never going to get there. You can try all you want, be as motivated as you fucking want. You're never going to get there. So sometimes it is the strategy. Most time it isn't. Second is the story you tell yourself. I'm not good at it. What's your belief essentially? What's the beliefs you have about yourself? Your, uh, I'm not good at losing weight. This is hard. Weight, losing weight is hard. I'm lazy. I'm whatever, whatever. And then the third one is the state that you're in. What? mental state are you in at that time remember we spoke about we see things the way we are not the way things are so if you're feeling fucking anxious if you're feeling depressed if you're feeling shit because you haven't moved your body you've been haven't been looking after yourself and you're just feeling fucking down you're gonna see things that way you won't have the mindset to go find the strategy you won't actually fix the story you're running and you won't take any action so those are three sort of generalized answers of doing it but most people complain about the strategy i just don't know how to do it i don't know how to do it jump on fucking google and google it like the answers <laughs> the answers are there you could find 90 percent of answers through a youtube video or google if not 95 if not 100 percent. as you get more successful this the solutions you're looking for are more niche down and more specific and that's where you need to find specific mentors who have specifically done what you're looking to do that's when you generally need to pay for mentorship and coaching and that type of thing